Hi, my name is B. Mohan. My age is 55. I'm working in SPCA for 27 years. My job scope in SPCA is operations executive, also rescue animals. I'm happy working in SPCA. There's no issues at all. Because animals come first. That's why I'm here now. Uh, we have a case of a hit and run, a dog in the middle of the road at Tuas Avenue 6. Hopefully you can uh, save the dog and bring back to SPCA. Uh, I started in SPCA as a kennel keeper come wear assistant, promoted to an operations executive. I also love working with animals and the staff here. I'm going to pull over here. So, no, I saw the dog in front. It's at a junction there. She's not injured, uh. she's, she's just a stray. Uh, I'm just going to go over down and check. Morning, sir. So, so, uh, uh, dog man accident, is it? No, huh? There are four adult dogs. In the, they are not injured. They are okay. But I need to call a caller and check to confirm. Hi, ma'am. I'm calling from SPCA. My name is Morgan here. Uh, you call us regarding by a dog in the centre of the divider outside. Yeah, I saw a few brown dogs under the trailer. But you saw the accident itself? I understand. So he's not injured. They are just resting. Yeah, yeah. all right. Th thanks for your call, man. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, bye. bye. She was worried that the dog might be mainly injured. Because when the van was passing by, the dog didn't move. It was just lying there. So that's yeah, so why she called SPCA. Uh, it's, it's, it's not injured. It's a false alarm. Uh. Okay, we are going to Onan Road at the east side. We pick up uh, somebody found a lost dog. Hello. Where you found the dog? Oh, hello. Hi. Friendly, yeah? Friendly. Yes, okay, okay, I'm going to carry you, okay? It's a meal. Yeah, it's a meal. Oh. Okay. okay. Oh, just groom, huh? can smell the perfume and everything. Okay. Bring you to SPCA, okay? Right? I will for you. Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay? Let's talk. We need to check for microchip. Okay. All right, go ahead. This is a scanner here. It's the size of a grain. No microchip. Okay. It's not. Okay, once uh, we pick up a lost dog, we scan a microchip. Next step is that we will take a photograph of the dog and put it in the papers for two days. Alright, so called, so hopefully the owner will turn up with me. There's a cat stuck on the roof. Uh, we're going to lay a trap. Then we will check again tomorrow. Okay, here's where we're going to lay a trap. Okay. So when it steps in, right, the thing will close down. So once you come in here, you step on this platform here, right, the thing gets shut, automatically it closes by itself. This is a dead end, there's no way you can get in here. Okay, done. Alright, next step, wait for the cat to go in. Tomorrow, neither we come down here, or we will get the, there's an officer on duty in the night. We are actually going to check whether the cat has been trapped. Okay, this is the, we call it a catch pull. Alright, this is a very important tool of to handle fierce dogs and cats. When you pull this upright, the loop in front will come loosen. Alright, then we just pull. When you pull all the way down, there will be a small gap, a few inch. You will not strangle the cat or, or dog. So this net will attach to the, the end there. Then we can, we can catch the cat or bird. Sometimes we got rescue bird. But hanging from the tree, we need to use this. All right, this is quite handy. Those days we don't have this. And lastly, we have this, uh, we call it rabies glove. This glove to handle fierce cats, all right? And dogs also, because it's protected by a cushion inside. So even if you bite, even goes through, it won't be that painful, all right? After you rescue a pet or bring a pet into the SPCA, and you see them get adopted by the owner. 
that's the most rewarding part because our work is done there. At least there's somebody else to take care of the animal forever. Before I joined SPCA, I was very, very active. But I had a very bad accident. For the next three years, I was bedridden and uh, a lot of things changed. I lifted myself, I pulled myself up. I said, no, I cannot do this. I have to do something. Here I am working for SPCA for 27 years, which I'm very happy and proud of.